What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, this channel is all about fitness and martial arts for older guys. Uh, I'm 41 years old and been doing martial arts my whole life. Uh, right now, judo guy, right? Big, big on judo and grappling. And of course, some uh, BJJ too. In today's video, I wanna talk about Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. So this is super exciting. Um, Mike Tyson, I'm a big fan, right? I grew up watching him and all. And uh, now he's back. He's back at 54 years old, guys. So that's really, really cool. And another really cool thing uh, that, I, that I like about it is that he set up his own league, okay? It's called the Legends Only League. So he set this up and the idea behind it is to take guys who are legends in the sport and to get them to fight each other, right? For our entertainment and also at the same time, uh, you know, make do matchups that need to, that people want to see, that fans want to see. Like for example, Mike Tyson in his prime never had a chance to face off with uh, Roy Jones Jr., right? So we're, we're doing it now. I mean, it's late. Of course, they're past their prime, but I mean, they could still do it, you know? I mean, if you watched uh, what's going on on YouTube, you could tell Mike Tyson still has it. He's been training, he's in shape. I mean, obviously he's not the same as when he was, when he was 21, but damn, the guy, can, the guy can hit, the guy can still move, you know? So it's gonna be very exciting to watch. And um, what's interesting about this uh, Legends Only League is that it's not only reserved for boxing, right? If this works, I think what's gonna do, what he's gonna do is he's gonna do, um, he's gonna do this for MMA also. And even for other sports, you know, even for basketball or whatnot, you know, like maybe a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one legend against another, you know, and so on and so on. So you could do this across pretty much all the sports, grab the older guys who are, um, who are legends, you know, and that we still want to see, but the, you can't just put these guys back competing against like the, uh, you know, the new generation, right? Because it wouldn't be fair. But uh, I think it's a great idea. I'm super excited to, uh, to watch this fight. It's gonna be on September 12th. Tyson is 54 years old. Roy Jones Jr. is 51. Tyson hasn't fought since 2005, right? And Roy Jones Jr. since 2018. Um, so I, it's gonna be eight round exhibition match. I think it, there's gonna, they're gonna have headgears uh, from, from my understanding, from what I saw on, uh, on the internet. Yeah, so exhibition, it means it's, it's gonna be a like sparring match, right? And they're gonna both be going at it but obviously not at 100%. So I think that they're probably gonna go uh, anywhere between 70 to 80%. That's, that's what sparring is like usually, you know, or, or even a little bit less than that. So maybe anywhere between 60 to 80. I mean, it's gonna vary from uh, a moment to moment kind of thing. Like when you're fighting, that's just how it goes, right? I think it's gonna be a great display of, uh, of skill on both parts. And it's gonna be interesting to see the peekaboo style made famous by uh, Mike Tyson, right? And versus a style that's essentially a super fast hand speed and amazing footwork, explosive style like Roy Jones Jr., right? So now I believe that if they really win at it, you know, at this stage in their life, Tyson would win. And the reason for that is because, well, he hasn't fought since 2005 and he's been pretty clean. Like he lives a healthy lifestyle, he's strong. I think he's just built like that, man. Honestly, he's, he's one of those guys they're just, they're just strong, you know, physically, you know, like a physical specimen kind of thing. And so he's been well rested, you know, since 2005 until now. Whereas Roy Jones Jr., he's, he's been active, man, and he hasn't been uh, performing as well. I think he's, he's eaten a lot of punches, man, you know, and uh, Mike Tyson hasn't taken as much damage and he's well rested. So the way I see it, man, is that if they were to really go, Tyson would win, right? Now, that being said, I hope they don't really go. I hope they, they keep it at a level where both guys can display skill. And if anyone wins, it would be on a technical superiority um, uh, win, right? So that means, okay, you won, but you know, we did, I didn't have to knock you out to prove that I beat you. I just showed you that I'm the better technician, 
I got more, be I got better skills than you, my style is better, and so on and so on. Of course, the intensity has to be there somewhat, you know, it can't be too boring either, you know, uh, but I think uh, a good way to go about this is that, um, well, if they, they ramp it up here, slow it down there, and they kind of have that mutual respect. And I think it, it was even uh, said between the two that, you know, like the, the agreement or the verbal agreement or maybe it's in the contract, I'm not sure I'd have to look that up, but essentially it's not to knock, like, knock each other's head off, right? So I'm really, really excited uh, for Mike Tyson, uh, right? Because, because like he said this in the video where he's like, man, and they asked him, why, why do you wanna do this? Why do you wanna do this? And he's like, well, because I still can. I believe I still can, and there's a lot of guys out there like me who believe that too, you know? And I believe that 100%, I can relate totally uh, simply because I'm 41 years old and I'm going for my black belt in judo and I want to go for a world title uh, later on, right? So it would be in Masters 3, something like that, right, for older guys. But, uh, you know, I don't believe that you, you, you stop, that you need to stop. Of course, you might not, I, like, I can't go to the Olympics and Mike Tyson can't go back to, you know, fighting all the younger guys in the circuit and start a, a like, a, a, a new career in, you know, not a new career, but a, like a second career in boxing kind of thing. I guess, no, no, but it's not to say that there's not a place for them. And that's what I love about this, is that he's creating a place where all these guys, all these legends that we grew up watching can come back and train and, and, and play on an on, on a, on a even playing field, right? With other boxers or you know whatever it may be in, a, in another sport. So I'm really excited about it, man. A huge shout out to my boy, Christian Pham. Uh, he's my video editor and without him, well, these videos would be pretty much shit. And I just can't wait, man. I, so let me know down below, guys, in the comments. Like, what do you think? Do you guys, are you guys down with this? Uh, what do you think? Do you think it's, uh, it's dangerous it, or not or whatever, you know? And uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to see what your comments are, what your thoughts are regarding this. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. So like the video, subscribe. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Peace.